So what's up, Ava? How's it going? It's going interesting, you know, interesting day with all that happened. So explain, like, what's going on um, right now. So basically, I was on Adam 22's podcast, No Jumper, about six or seven months ago. I think I went out there in April. Uh I had just been on Dr. Phil, and I went on to, like, go viral, become a meme. I did that somewhat successfully, enough to, like, grow my following on Instagram, things like that. So I decided to drop a song as a joke. Like, again, I was just, like, like making a joke out of Bad Baby, making a joke out of myself, like, basically doing this whole social experiment. So I jokingly got into contact with Adam22. Mind you, I didn't even have 100,000 followers at the time I messaged him. Um. I was so irrelevant. There was nothing about me that would mean that I should be on No Jumper. So I contact him and say, hey, like, I'm so down to be on your podcast, so let's discuss the song. Mind you, many of my friends have contacted Adam22, like, legitimate SoundCloud rappers, and they have he hasn't even given them an interview. Right. So then he's like, oh my god, I'm so interested, whatever, can you fly out to LA next week? Because I'm, like, based in New York, and I, like, go back and forth. Right. So I tell Adam, I'm like, yeah, like, I'm so down. I fly out there, like, I'm in contact with his people, whatever. I get there immediately. Like, I'm there with, like, my my friend's manager, who I did the song with, and Uh I was there with a guy that I was, like, dating at the time. Right. So I'm there with the guy I'm dating at the time, and Adam's flirting with me so hard, asking me about Coachella, asking me about my sex life, like, hinting to me that he wanted me to to have a three-way with him and Lena. Like, it was Uh too obvious. So I obviously was not into that, and I had a guy that I was seeing at the time with me, so I'm like, I'd like to introduce you to the guy I'm dating. Introduce him to um, the guy, and the whole tone of the entire thing changed completely. And Adam sat me down and was like, okay, let's just get this done. He cuts my interview short, he presses me about my sex life, presses me about drug use, things I don't necessarily want to talk about. Like, I was there to troll, I was there to make a joke. Like, he knew from the start that this was this was a joke and for me the fact that he even wanted to make it into a joke made me be like oh my god this guy wants to have a three-way with me and Lena like that's what he does with most of his guests like he's known to do that yes are there any people that you know like for sure that he's done that with well just google it okay he's done with like when he has like corners on like Riley and things like that he's done three ways I think Selena Powell he tried to do the same thing so this is just something that's just well known and I was told this after the fact and, like, he was so flirty with me, like, flirtatious, touching me from the start. Uh-huh. And then we sit down for our interview. Tone changes, again, because the guy that I was, like, I wasn't, he was my boyfriend, but I was seeing him at the time. I brought him, so Adam was very off about it. He, like, pushed me to say and do things, like, he's like, let's fat shame people, whatever, like, this would be great for viral content. He wanted me to talk shit about Tana Mojo, something I wasn't willing to do because I obviously have no problems with Tana Mojo. Right. So he was wanted me to do all these things. He's like, this will make you more viral. This will make you more viral. So I'm, like, trying to make jokes, whatever. I felt uncomfortable at the interview. Like, I was nervous the whole time. You can hear it in my voice and the way I'm talking. Right. I'm done. Interview gets posted. It does nothing for me. It does nothing for him. It got, like, 60,000 views. Again, because I'm irrelevant. And I know the whole reason he had me on was because he wanted to sleep with me. And that's the vibe I got. And then the second I brought a guy there, the vibe changed. So then in other interviews, he started bringing my name up. And he would be like, oh, like, my last interview that was a joke was, like, Abe Louise. And he was, like, talking down on it. And I've heard him do this a couple other times. And I'm not sure the specific video, but I am pretty sure it was posted on his YouTube. Right. So I heard this, and people, like, guys were making fun of me, like, oh, Adam 22 is clowning you. I was like, whatever, I don't care. Yesterday, on one of his live live streams with Cam Girl, he's talking about me and some other girl that was on Dr. Phil. And he's like, Abe Louise is fat. They're like... She's not a skinny legend. Mind you, I went on Dr. Phil, and my joke was that I was a skinny legend, which is a meme from Twitter. Like, are you familiar? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it, 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 was, it was a meme. It was a joke. So then they're like, Ava Louise is skinny. She's fat. She's all these things. So I post on my Instagram story. I'm like, why can't you keep my name out of your mouth, Adam22? I'm DMing him. I'm like, you're a rapist. Again. There's been multiple rape allegations to the point where he was dropped from Atlantic Records. He made multiple tweets about the fact that he wanted to, like, have sex with teenage girls and little girls. And he's been denying it, saying it's fake, all these things for years. And then I posted all on my Instagram story, and I'm like, you want to not only rape women, be a pedophile, be a racist, be a homophobe. You want to go on 
your podcast and body shame a 21 year old girl that wasn't in fines to sleep with you so I come at him for it I call him rapist he's like that's all fake and then he says to me in the DM the DM that I sent to you he was like oh it was a joke like those tweets were a joke that people made a bigger deal out of it like I'm sorry I don't know about you but I don't go on Twitter and joke about wanting to fuck little kids nor do I go on Twitter making fun of gay people making fun of people's races or joking about hitting women and there's multiple girls coming out saying it's true. So he ends up blocking me uh. because he can't defend himself. He's like, no one press charges. I'm like, why would they press charges against you? It's hard enough for a sexual assault victim to come forward in the first place. And then for her to be flamed on Twitter. Imagine how flamed she'd get by the world if she pressed charges against you. So Adam blocked me on everything, called me fat, called me an idiot, literally like who bought it's 2019 yeah adam 22 is already widely hated who body shamed someone and i'm sorry i'm not i'm not fat D- does like, he still have your interview posted yeah i believe it's still up it's still up and like he had me making fun of fat people with him on the thing because mm. my joke was skinny legend okay so if you google ava louise the first thing that comes up is my no jumper interview and i believe it's still up okay unless he deleted it just now because of the things i had to say to him Okay, well, let me ask you this too. You, when you were, um, you were just on Dr. Phil again, I believe, uh, yeah. recently. You, you were saying that like the first time that you were on there, that they, that they were like trying to make you act fake or act a way that well, wasn't. They, even this time, this time, like Dr. Phil, the first time I went on there, like they definitely put words in my mouth. They made me act like a brat. I just wanted to go on there and joke about Instagram. Like my persona, I was presenting to the world. I was basing off of memes I found on gay Twitter. Uh-huh. And I was basing it off of like making fun of influencers with like fit tees and things like that. Like it was like basically a joke, like put, like almost like a caricature, caricature of all Instagram influencers. And that's basically mm-hmm. what I did. The first time they tried to warp it into like I was this bratty girl, whatever. I personally don't think there was anything necessarily too wrong with my first episode. This episode, I wanted to go on and I wanted to discuss serious things. I wanted to talk about sexual assault because Dr. Phil pressed me on that last time. So I said, let's readdress that. I wanted to give that girl, Jessie Taylor, advice about like her life and tell people to stop making fun of her. They cut it all out. Every good word of advice that I had for uh. Jesse, they cut out because they wanted to make it seem like I changed and that I didn't fake my persona the first time and that Dr. Phil made me better. Right. So... Which is not true. Dr. Phil didn't do anything for me. Dr. Phil's not even a licensed psychologist. He okay. told Jesse Taylor, who genuinely needs like mental help and needs to go to therapy, that she should work in the soup kitchen and go to church to get better. Wow. Like, okay. The man's a joke. Adam Twenty Two's a joke. So, what do you want people to know by by watching this? You want to like like have other girls beware just, of or go, by going on his podcast? Oh yeah, I want women to be aware that if you go on Adam Twenty Two's podcast and you don't want to sleep with that man that you are going to get body shamed, he's going to talk shit about you, he's going to sit down with porn stars, he's going to sit down with everyone else on No Jumper and continuously talk down on your name and make you out to a joke. Wow. I'm not a joke, bro. And were you, and were you, are you also saying that his girlfriend was kind of like in on it too? No. Lena, I did not meet Lena. Lena was not involved. Okay. Like, I don't know anything about her. I've heard nothing but positive things about Lena, but it's Adam who was the one who was like pushing me. In okay. that direction, he only had me on because he was interested in me. Because when I tell you I was irrelevant, I was irrelevant. I still don't think I'm relevant. Uh-huh. But yet he keeps dropping my name. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's. I guess that's pretty much it then. Is there, is there anything else that you want people to know or? Um, that Adam Twenty Two is a rapist. Wow. <laughs> He's a okay. rapist and a pedophile and a predator. And listen, everyone canceled James Charles on YouTube when they thought he was a predator because he was a gay man. And he proved himself otherwise that he was not a predator. But Adam-22, someone who is genuinely a predator, is not being canceled solely because he's a straight man. Okay, wow, wow. And I think it's messed up. All right, and also, are you are you going to go on Dr. Phil again, or are you done with um, Dr. Phil? I'm never going to go back on that show, because that show, I went on that show because I knew that show was a joke. Uh-huh. I knew they weren't genuinely trying to help people, so I took advantage of his platform, like Dr. Phil and his producers are dumbasses. I took advantage of their platform to become a meme, did so, went back on to present a more real version of myself and discuss a real issue, thinking I could genuinely help a real girl, but they weren't interested in that. They're interested in views, and like... Of like turning people's mental issues into ratings and entertainment. So no, I'm never gonna go back okay. on that show. 
All right. Well, uh, well, thanks a lot for your time. And I guess we'll, we know and we'll get this out to everybody. And, you know, maybe we'll get a chance to hear, you know, Adam 22's side of the story and see if he has Try anything. Try and get his side of the story. Go for it. Yeah, you have the DMs. You are more than I gave them to you. Go ahead and post them up with the story. All right. Well, thank you. Appreciate your time. Have a good day. No problem. Thank All right, you. Thanks. Bye.